All right, people, what's up, everyone? And welcome to another first reviews reaction video with your big boy buddy Gore. That's me. And I got two games for you. Two games to re reviews for. And you know what those games are? Of course you do. You read the title. You title reading Sons of Bitches. This, of course, is for Gotham Knights. Big game. And then New Tales from the Borderlands. Big series. I don't know about this game, though. They've done a terrible job of marketing this game. Good lord. Like, like they have. Like, they, we, we got our first trailer two months ago. And then since then, I feel like we've gotten... We, we've, we've received nothing about it. Like, I think there might be a couple other trailers that have kind of, like, like kind of dipped through the through the cracks of the internet i don't know what i'm saying like it, i just missed them is what i'm trying to say um but gotham knights have seen a lot of trailers for it, so they've been marketing the shit out of that game so i don't know what to expect i'm gonna say mediocre things for both that's my guess all right let me take a sip ah that's good that's good that's real good um i don't want mediocre things for both of them but i'm gonna guess all right not mediocre i'm gonna say all right i'm gonna guess Gotham Knights has a 72. That's my guess. Which, which would be fine, actually. I wouldn't be terrible. I, I, I'll take a 7. A seven's fun. Um, I like 7s. New Tales from Borderlands, I'm going to guess... Because of the way they're marketing it, and I didn't like the first trailer. The characters seem meh. Uh, I'm going to guess... I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to go low. I'm going to say 66. That's my guess. I mean, it could be really high. I don't know. But they haven't done a great job marketing that game at all. So, let's find out. I'm going to say 72, Gotham Knights, 66 for Tales, New Tales from Borderlands. All right, let's go. Um, I think there might have been another game that started getting reviews, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, let's go. Ready? Give me. Let's find out. Oh, 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 no. Okay. I was actually really close. New Tales from Borderlands is actually closer to what I thought Gotham Knights would be, and Gotham Knights was closer to what I thought New Tales. Actually, Gotham Knights is right about, oh, 60. I had 69, though. <laughs> it's a good number. Uh, ooh, it's not a good week. It's definitely not a good week for DC. God damn. Um, all right. Uh, at least for reviews. I'm sure I'm sure it'll do fine, uh, money-wise. Uh, let's uh, see Gotham Knights. Oh, 69. Come on. What the fuck? Oh, what? Like, uh, these are the guys that did Arkham Origins too, which didn't get great reviews, but I think people have come around on it and they and think it's actually fantastic. Um, I think it is, right? What the fuck happened? Jesus, yeah, they did a. Uh, oh, they did, of course. Oh, they did Arkham Underworld, of course they did. Um, yeah, they did Origins. Uh, yeah, seventy four. But people have come around on it and think it's great. Um, all right. Uh. Okay, look, Gotham Knights is up there with Elden Ring as a game of the year contender. It's fast, responsive, and action-packed combat is surpassed only by a narrative that had me glued from the very first cutscene. I must play for I must play for fans of open world titles and an easy pickup for anyone invested in the Gotham Knights or DC Universe. I go, no, go away, go away. Um, but here's a four out of ten. I don't think that guy thinks it's the game of the year. Uh, but hey, it's some high scores too. Eight point five eight, a lot of eights probably. Yeah, that's my guess. Eight, eight. Wow, that was a lot of eights actually. Um, and then a lot of sixes, I assume. Oh, no, a lot of fives. Ooh. Uh, I, I'm gonna take a guess and say that my prediction might come accurate. Become accurate. It might go up a little bit higher. You know, actually, I bet it's 72 on some other console. Let's see. I have a Series X. Okay, I'm wrong. I have a PC. Okay, no, it's going, it's going down. It's going to get worse. <laughs> this is the good PS5. It's getting worse. <laughs> so, just not look at those anymore. Um... That's right. That's a shame. Because even though I was crapping on it a lot of times when I watch these trailers, I wanted it to be good. Why the fuck would I ever want this game not to be good? It's been so long since we've had a Batman-focused game. It's been seven years since Arkham Knight. What the fuck happened? We, we, there would be a time where we would get three of them in the span of a few years. Now we got none in the span of a few years. Remember when we had Arkham City? Then two years later, we had Arkham Origins. And then two years later, we had Arkham Knight. Four years, we had three games. Shit, if you even count just the original Arkham Asylum, in the span of six years, we had four games. In the span of seven years, we had zero games. <laughs> I mean, of course, this one's coming out tomorrow, but still. Uh, right now, it's not out yet. So, And it's been over seven years since Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight came out like June 2015. Why do I remember that? Because I was fucking excited. 
Anyway, uh, I'm sure there's something else I'm missing. Yeah, I guess he had the Arkham collection. Uh, Rock said he was uh, too busy, I guess, working on Suicide Squad or doing something else. I, I don't believe for the last seven years they've been working on fucking Suicide Squad. It's not even out yet. I, I don't believe it. They must have been doing something else that just wasn't working out and they canceled whatever they were doing it, doing internally. Never even let us new or no. New or no. Anyway, three, uh, eight out of ten. A diamond in the rough. Gotham Knights is a blast, but feels like it could do with a little more polish. Gotham Knights' vision of Arkham, nope, Gotham, is compelling and filled with charismatic characters you're going to want to spend time with. There's also, there's almost too much to do here, but you'll probably be too busy battering goons to care. Okay. Uh, they enjoyed it, obviously. That's why they gave it eight out of ten. What the hell is Dex Zerto? It sounds like a fucking G.I. Joe character. A lot has been riding on Gotham Knights' shoulders, but the weight has paid off dividends. Performance issues aside, it's gripping story and gorgeous open world enforced as a co confident successor to Arkham franchise. Gotham Knights is a robust co-op uh, adventure that embraces the Dark Knights world wholeheartedly. Okay, so it seems like the story itself is really good. So at least we have that. They didn't fuck up the story. Uh, while it does attempt to... as from Games Hub. Um... That's not my favorite hub, but whatever. While it does attempt to carve out its own identity with its slower pace and more intimate storytelling, it's hard to separate this game from the Batman games of the past. But regardless of its lack of, of its lack of originality, Gotham Knights remains a compelling experience, one littered with intriguing and thoughtful interpretations of characters, and a creeping sense of dread that will keep you rushing through case files, determined to save Gotham from itself. Okay, God is a geek. There's a lot to love about Arkham Knights, especially when fighting or traversing the city. But a few hiccups do hold it back. Okay. I'm getting a Saint Row vibe from this. I don't know why. Even the Saint Row got worse reviews. Uh, a lot of reviews said the same thing. Not about the story, but like, uh, oh, the game is fun. Despite itself. You know, it's fun. You'll have fun. And I played it. I didn't have fun. I don't know what the fuck they're smoking. I had more fun playing Saint Row the Third last year because I played the remaster than I did playing the new Saint Row. I think people have come around on that game now. I think they were like, oh, no, it's fun. I like it. And now I've, I've been hearing people that have said that saying, like, yeah, no, it, was, it wasn't good. <laughs> like, I had fun for the first few hours and I fucking just kind of shit the bed. Um, Gotham Knights is one of those games with a lot of potential, but that, that is spoiled by a bunch of questionable game design toys. Without being fundamentally bad, Gotham Knights leaves us with the sensation of an over, over, of an abandoned service game that could have been promising if it was assumed. Okay. A game f fun to play in cooperation that will remain in the shadow of our Batman Arkham. Yeah. An average city action that... An average city action that can't be broken even by competent... Alright, fuck that. All right, let's read it. <laughs> it was a compelling game in, in Gotham Knights, but it's hidden away behind a messy UX. Like UI. Um, what the hell is UX? Oops. 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 Uh, needless crafting and customization systems and combat system mechanics that have been stretched paper thin to accommodate four heroes. I do believe that WB Games Montreal is capable of greatness. Besides Arkham, I didn't see anything else they did. I think they did that phone game. Anyway. I mean, Arkham Origins is great. So, I guess that. Uh, thin to accommodate for heroes. I do believe that WB Mo uh, Games Montreal is capable of greatness, but this isn't the game that Gotham deserves after the death of Bruce Wayne, and it's not the one he needs right now following Rocksteady's retreat to Metropolis for a Suicide Squad kill the Justice League, which I hope is fucking good. I, I can assume it will be, because Rocksteady makes great games, but it's also been seven years, so... Gotham Knights is a lackluster entry into the Batman mythos that feels like a major step back from what has come before. Whether it's the monotonous game uh, combat, I guess technically they did, the, uh, they, they did the Arkham VR game, but fuck. Look, a whole VR generation has passed and we're getting a new one and we still haven't had a new game. A whole console generation passed? I mean, technically Arkham Knight was a, con a PS4 game, but you know, it was like the pretty close to the beginning. Um, we should have another one. Both Rockstar and Rocksteady fucking taking their sweet times. What's up with that? What Whether it's the monotonous combat, subpar 30 FPS on console. Oh no, they brought it up. Lack of co-op incentives and strain it puts on the single player experience or the fact that Gotham is dull and slow to experience. Or explore, same thing. Nothing justifies its existence while its story might offer the occasional glimpse of something that could have been. 
gives me no great pleasure in saying that Gotham Knights is my biggest disappointment of the year. Fuck. And then here's some in progress reviews. All right, so Gotham Knights, not great. Now let's go back. Is there anything else that came out? God damn, that's cool for good and evil. Jesus, Paul Feig. P U. Uh, any TV? Wait, Inside Amy Schumer is back? I don't know. Uh, all right, let's go to New Tales. Shh, fuck. Can we have like one? I mean, we had we had a lot. dude. This week is actually full of games. Uh, we have Plague Tale. We have Mario Rivers. That came out today. I think this. Um, Gotham Knights, uh, Persona 5, of course, coming to Switch and Xbox, and PS5. What was the other thing? Um, did I react to something else? I guess, no, Scorn was last week. Uh, did I react to something else? Plague Tale? No, I guess it was just Plague Tale Mario, right? Oh, there, there must have been something else there. I just missed it. I wasn't looking. Persona, no, that's it. Oh, uh, Ghostbusters, I didn't do a reaction for that, but that's there. Yeah, ooh, 73, okay, that's not bad. Hey, for a game like that, 73 is pretty good. Uh, I, by the way, I pre-ordered that game and, uh, Amazon, I guess just decided, uh, no, nah, you're not getting it. Don't worry. You're not getting it until November. I'm like, what? I pre-ordered the collector's edition and the regular version. And I still, I'm not getting either of them until November. I'm like I pre-ordered them. It said October 18th, both of them came out. And now the collector's edition now says the 31st to be fair, I guess. Um, but the regular version says it's out now, and I pre-order it. I'm still not getting into uh, November. So, cool. Thanks, Amazon. Proving once again that you're the best. Um, anyway, so now let's read the new, new... Oh, wow, shit, we're 12 minutes in. All right, let's read these these ones quick. Oh, my goodness. All right, uh, if you love the previous game or just are really craving a good giggle, New Tales from the Borderlands is most definitely a must-play title for you in 2022. I happily give this one a rating of four and a half skateboards out of five. <laughs> it's weird to read one of these blurbs that has the review in it. Um, let's read, uh, oh man, there's only a couple nines, a bunch of eights, okay. New Tales from Borderlands is a worthy successor to Telltale's magnum opus with great writing and engaging story, okay. Hey. Those who are willing to wholeheartedly embrace New Tales from Borderlands' ridiculous premise and larger than life cast are sure to enjoy a satisfying, meaningful experience, okay. It's good to hear. There's a lot to love here for fans of the franchise and fans of the genre alike, provided you have room in your heart and schedule this time of the year. I just wish it was a sequel to Tales from the Borderlands. Like, I know they're in... Well, at least um, Reyes is, right? Or no, what, what was his name? Reese. Is it Reese? Who, who's Chur Baker's character again? I forgot. He's he, Chur Baker doesn't play him anymore. In Borderlands 3, someone else played him. Um, fuck, I forgot his character's name. Uh, new Tales from Borderlands successfully recaptures a lot of this IGN. Uh, recaptures a lot of Telltale's original magic with a fresh, funny, and affable new set of main characters but unfortunately also introducing new problems both in the story and in some half-hearted game mechanics okay that gum up the works you don't need to have played the first tales in order to enjoy this one but if you're going to choose one or the other stick with the original and circle back to this pseudo sequel with tempered expectations if the first one grabs you as much as it grabbed me it grabbed me that's for sure i loved it played it with friends and we had a great time Ultimately, New Tales from the Borderlands feels like more of the same, and fans of the first are likely to enjoy this, but given it's been nearly eight years since the first one, I want more of an evolution. Yeah. I mean, I honestly, I don't really care, as long as we we got a sequel, but we didn't really. Um, that's my problem. Uh, I wish I could say I na- I- What? Okay, hold on. Uh, this is from Destructoid. They gave it a three. I didn't like it. I wish I could say I nailed New Tales of- From the- Wow, this, this, this is a great start to this review. I wish I could say I nailed New Tales of From the Borderlands with a bad score because I was holding it to a higher standard. Okay, so they, they meant to say I nailed. I thought they, I thought they were trying to say, I, I wish I could say they nailed Tales of, but no, I nailed it with a bad review. Okay, to a higher standard because it was developed by Gearbox and that it had a lot to live up to by following the original Tales. Those things may be true, but this game is a soulless, slog regardless of who made it or what ser series it's a part of okay new tales of borderlands impressed me with its Shh. stop vibrating phone actually here hold on call me daddy thank you daddy yeah all right now get the fuck out of here all right anyway it's a shame that the game didn't inherit the predecessor's cool writing and kept annoying me with cringe making attempts at humor gearbox with made cringe humor no way you're fucking blowing my mind right now uh what's worse it simply bored me okay so it's a bunch of wait all right i miss i, I actually skipped this part impress me with its graphics and please me with settings that let you customize qtes or even turn them off completely okay so it's the same 
shit. Oh, no. The Borderlands series seems like it's stuck in a rut right now. Borderlands 3 had great shooting and mechanics, but an abysmal story and dialogue. Okay. Yeah, the dialogue wasn't great. The story was okay from my experience. I, I never finished it, to be fair. New Tales of Borderlands suffers from these same issues, but the big problem is to focus on... Wait, really? So it has great shooting? Because all this game is is the story and dialogue, and if it's terrible, then well, it's the fucking point. But the big problem is to focus on a lackluster narrative. For every rare good joke or exciting moment, there are hours of insufferable gags that make you cringe and win. All right, I'm not fucking playing this. <sighs> Borderlands humor is fucking. I don't know what happened. Like I thought Borderlands one at the time was funny, but I was also younger. But I thought Borderlands two was actually legit funny, and uh, and they even though I think it was. It, I think it might have been written by um, people from Telltale, but I think it, Borderlands, uh, um, not Borderlands, I'm sorry, Gearbox had something to do with Tales from the Borderlands. So what the fuck happened? That, that game is really funny, and the characters are really likable. All right, let's go to open critic. What the fuck happened? What happened to you? Eh. Hey, look, Optimus uh, Knights 71. Hey, new Tales from Borderlands, 75. Look at that, it's better here. Let's just go to open critic forever. Hey, Jackbox, hell yeah. Oh, score! Oh, score in sixty-nine. I feel like that's fitting. Yeah, yeah. The Marvel Snap game came out. Whoa, whoa, whoa! God damn! Look at these reviews. Yeah, that game looked kind of fun, actually. So I might download that. Eight, 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 ten, nine point three. Damn! All right. If it's that fun, then I might, I might actually download that. Anyway. Uh, it looked pretty fun. It looked simple and fun. I'm not really like into Marvel right now, but uh. Uh, but I'm into fun. <laughs> Might not be into Marvel right now, but I'm into fun. Yeah. Maybe it'll bring me back to Marvel. Anyway, let's see how many reviews there are. It might be less. And... No, there's more. Okay, so 71. Hey! Hey! Say, like I said, 70. I said 72, so I'm close here. Uh -huh. Hey! You know, it's not bad! And then you do Tales from Borderlands. How many? I think that's about the same. Uh, 75, yeah, that's strong. 75 is a strong over here. I'd say that's like, I, I, I would just say good. I think strong should be 80 or higher, but 75 is yeah, that's still good. Game Informer gave it a 7, GameSpot gave it a 7, Star Trek gave it a 3, IGN gave it a 7, Games Radar gave it an 8. I feel like just from these reviews, you would think it would be like in the 60s. Or maybe like, maybe just straight up 70. Um, but of course there's more reviews than that. Uh, all right, cool. So we're not gonna read any more. We got it. Ryan McCaffrey didn't like it. He's a hater. <laughs> you give it a seven. You give it a seven. Oh, you must have hated it. IGN gives everything a fucking seven. They they got rid of all their decimals and shit. I don't know why the fuck they did that, but whatever. Now every review looks exactly the same. Uh, Plague Tale's still good though. My Rabbit's still good. Hey, the new Jackbox is pretty good. Ghostbusters is fun. I hear. Uh, there's still some good games out there. Marvel Snap is good. You can download that. Uh, and these two aren't terrible. You know, hey, 70s are not bad. That's not bad. Shit, I would even argue a 69 wasn't that bad. So scoring's good too. Go do, go download that if you have a game pass. Uh, anyway, let go. That's it because that game looks gorgeous. Every every time I see it, I'm like, good lord, it looks amazing. Uh, I just dread playing it because I know it's going to be creepy. Anyway, I've actually heard it's not that creepy actually. Um, but, oh no, hey, Overwatch 2, 78. Hey, I'm loving Overwatch 2 right now. I mean... Uh, game, uh, game pass, uh, um, battle pass withstanding. Uh, I think it's a great, hey. oh God, G great, uh, experience. Anyway, that's it. Bye. I'll see you. Bye. bye <laughs> We're done. We're done. Got the knights and new tales from the hoarder man's. Bye.